Now the word reverence, I want you to get a get a hand on that word. I'll write it down here. Reverence. Excuse my handwriting, but that's the word reverence. Reverence is found thirteen times, right? It's found thirteen times in the King James Bible. But a particular instant that we're looking at is in a prophetic statement found in Matthew 21. Let's put that down right here. Matthew 21 verse 37. All right. When you turn your Bibles to Matthew 21 verse 37, it says, But last of all, he sent to them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. All right. Behalagin legenis yafarutal belo lejun lakabacho lejun lakabacho. So lastly, he sent his son. He says perhaps they will reverence. Now this particular yafru, you understand, is from the root mefrat mafrat. You understand, feri teferi, as we have it up here, teferi. So this is the name of what we call the son of man. Now, as we go further in the lesson, we'll find out that the man, the son, the son, perhaps they will reverence Teferi Yafru Tal. Perhaps they will reverence my son. You understand, my son. Now, who is the man? You understand, we find that also within the prophetic scriptures too. And the name is Me Kwe Nen, or as some would say, Mekonen, Mekonen, but actually correctly, Mekwenen. Right here, Me Kwe Nen, if you want to double the, the near right there for that. Mekwenen, Mekwenen. We find this is another parable of Jesus Christos when he says that he says a noble man, you understand? A noble man, a balabate, a husband owner, a, a, a noble man went into a far country for an inheritance. Now, if we study this very same, this very same Masale, we'll find that at the beginning of the Masale. This is the very masale in which he, uh, in which he basically says to them. So we have this in Luke. Uh, when you turn your Bibles to Luke 19 and 12, right? In Luke 19 and 12, in the Amharic it reads, "Selazihim uh, in dialacho and mequenin and mequenin." Or Mekonen, as some would say, An Mekonen le Arasu me Nagishtina Yizo Lia Meles Lia Meles Wede Aruk Agar Hede. Right now, the Targum or the translation of it in your Bibles in Luke 19 and 12, and he said, therefore, a certain noble man. So now this is being translated now as noble man, Mekonen is being translated as noble. We know this as officer, as an officer of rank, uh, an officer, you understand, within the army, you understand? But the word also means a noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. This is what the Amharic also says in Luke, yeah, Lucas Wengel, 19 and 12. So the Zihim and the Alacho and Mequenin le Rasu men gistin or men gistin zo li a meles li meles with a ruk agar hede. You understand? So he went into a far country. You understand? He went to a far country to do what? To gather, to receive actually, to receive. But Bamarinya says to, to seize, you understand? Here it says in translation to receive for himself, let a rasu. Notice that it uses the form of this, not a rasu, but a rasu for himself. So this is also means self here, a ras. It's in head, 
oneself, rase myself, rasu his self, le rasu for himself, right? For himself, it says to receive for himself a kingdom, a mengisht, a kingdom. You understand? And to return, and to return. We can translate that as repatriate. You understand? And to return. Now, all this is scriptural. But in order to understand this, you understand the true meaning of reverence, the significance of the 13 times that is mentioned in the King James Bible, the significance of Matthew 21 verse 37, the significance of Luke 19 and 12, the significance of the word Mekwenen or Mekonen, you understand the significance of Son of Man, you understand the significance of Ras Teferi, Ras Teferi, and the significance of us stop calling ourselves Rasta, you understand because the word Rasta is abbreviation of Ras Teferi, you understand? I add a regular and an improper cutting of this two-part word, Ras Teferi, Ras Teferi, the compound name, compound word, Ras Teferi. You understand? When we call ourselves Farai or Ferry, it actually means coward. You understand? Look that up. Ask any Ethiopian who really understands their language. You understand? Ferry, you understand? Or Farai in mispronunciation. So this is the fullness, Ras Teferi. And this is the Ethiopic, Ras Teferi. You understand? So before we can even go deeper, you understand? We have to first clarify. You understand the half truths, because it's half truth right here. You understand? Cutting the word down into these two parts, Ras and Rasta, rather, and Farai. Rasta, Farai, and then getting some mix up, or well, this is Farai right here. It has something to do with the eye. This doesn't have anything to do with the eye in Ethiopic. This is why education, you understand, is the key. So this is, this is we could call this lesson one on repairing the breach. You're saying, because if you don't really understand this, then you're not in the truth of Rastafari. And this is what many Rastafari, you understand, don't understand when they call themselves Rasta. You understand? Or they call each other coward. You understand? They call each other Farai. You understand? Teferi is the name of that, of that son of man. You understand? The son of the man that he's son of, his name is Mekwanin. You understand? Or Mekonin. You understand? Mekwanin. You understand, but what Mekwanin now is the pluralization, and we're going to touch on that as well. Because let's go a little deeper in this. You understand? You all got this right. You all got this down. Okay, let's let's erase this. You understand? Let's erase this, and let's take this out, and let's go next level. All right. All right. Okay, now we're going to touch on the word, on the name, me kwe nen. Alright? Me kwe nen. Often pronounced as or written as mekonen. Alright? Let's go on this. Now we already know that from Luke. We have, let's put this in the corner right here, Luke 19, 12. That's the significance, the Ethiopic significance of that. 19 and 12, all right? Mequinen, Mequinen. Now, it means officer, all right? It means officer, officer or nobleman, all right? Now, there's a prophetic significance now. When we turn our Bibles to Psalms, all right, to Psalms, Psalm 68, verse 31, we often speak about Ethiopia shall stretch forth our hands to God. Moa and Bessa ze im ne gede Yehuda. Imoa.
when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky.